What's up everyone, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're gonna check out Kubely. Kubely is a WordPress plugin that you can install on your WordPress site to take Gutenberg Builder to the next level. Now the reason you might want this is because it helps you build your site faster because it already has pre-built templates and it has, it has a whole lot more options than you would get with Gutenberg. So this is their main site, Kubely, and if you guys wanna check out the deals going on, the link will be in the description. Now let's jump into my test site that I have installed already here. And this is my SAS master test site. And all I've done is installed Kubely. And I have another plugin just because I nuke my site because of testing purposes. If you guys want to check out WP Reset, the link will be in the description. So like I said, I installed Kubely Pro and Kubely Normal version. You need both of these for it to work. Now next thing I did is I, I installed the Astra theme. Why? Because it gives you a little bit more of options and you can remove sidebars and all that good stuff. That's why this is a good combination. Next thing I did, I head on over to settings and customize the right here, the sidebar. So I went into sidebar and I set no sidebar to any of the pages. So no default layout, no pages, no blog posts and no archives. So nothing is in the side. Remember, you see some widgets, you see some options on the right or on the left. We remove these so they don't show. So once that's done, we are ready to build with Kubely. So let's head over to pages, add a brand new one. And we have a brand new site right here. So let's call this one testing, all right? So that's my testing for this video purposes. And on the top, we have a brand new button, which is it's a Q for Kubely and it's import layout. So in this case, let's import a layout. And the cool part about this is that we have pre-built layouts right here that we can use. So in this case, we have sections, we have countdown, contacts, projects, features, and so on and so forth. There's 156 sections and adding as they go along. So right now, for example, if we needed a contact section, we can check out these, we can preview them, we can import them. So let's just say, this one looks pretty nice. So let's import this guy right here. Let's import it, and it's right here. So check this out, really easy and really fast. And if I click on something right here, we have the settings over here for Kubely. So you can see these options over here for the style. In this case, we have style. We have the heading, the colors right here. We've got the subheading, separators. we got more advanced right here for you. If you want to add some animations, you want to add some fade animation, slide, bounce, zoom, and all that good stuff. Let's go back to layout. So in this case, if I wanted to edit this, we also have more options for the designs. So if I wanted to change up a little bit the design right here, so instead of using the default one, that's by the one I selected for the section, we can customize it even more. You got related sections right here. So just in case you don't like the section that you added, well, just import a new one, or we can delete it right here from this right here. Remove block. Remember, this is based on Gutenberg and it's taking advantage of that technology to take it even further. So that's the reason for using Kubely. All right, so we added that section. We can import another layout. Let's go in right here. And these are sections, right? We're gonna jump into startup packs in a bit. So let's just say after that sections, we got a countdown and we're gonna use a pricing table. So we got these pricing tables available. I've seen people selling pricing tables as a standalone plugin. I don't know why, but you have them here. So in this case, we can import that one if you like it. And we can start editing this, these as we want. So you got a bunch of options with these. So for example, we got the style over here on the right. We got the title, let's go over to the button. So in this case, if I wanted to change the style of this button, well, we head on over to the button section. We can set the URL for which that button is gonna work with. So in this case, if it's gonna go to the uh, sales page or the cart, you can add that URL there. We can change the size. So in this case, we are actually visualizing in, in live mode as we edit this. So in this case, we can edit the size of this, the movements, the design of these, so for example, the text color, let's put it black, for example, we could use some box shadow right there, add a bit of shadow there. We can modify that as we need. So for example, if we wanna spread that a bit more and just doing it for the video purposes so you can see how it works. And obviously, if you think that's too much, you can fade it even more right here, or you can remove the box shadow at all. You got the radius, you got the gap, you got an icon if you wanna use icons inside of that button. So for example, I'm gonna use an icon right here. So there's no icon on the button right now, but if I click this little arrow, we added an icon there, happy face, uh, like that. And you can put it on the right or the left. You can size the icon if you want. Obviously, um, this, is not, this is not looking good, but it's just to show you the power of Kubely. You got typography right here. Now these are some of the neat features that you can check out when you add the builder. 
but there's also some sections where you can edit the whole thing. Let me find that for you. It's over here. We got another like a global settings on the top right. We got global settings right here. And right now we can change the whole settings of this page without having to change each one individually. So these are things that are capable thanks to Kubely. So in this case, if I want to change the preset, the colors, the, the global colors, the headings, the font size, the font titles, the font type and all that, we can do it right here without having to go individually into each single one and doing it. Now, that's one of the things that you can do. Let's check out the coolest part of all. For me, I like saving time, especially since, for example, I'm in a developing country, that's Mexico, and people don't pay a lot for websites. And I actually don't want to spend days or hours building a site when I'm getting paid not so much, right? So it's not the same as working in the UK, United States, Australia, where you could charge for a site up to, I mean, minimum $100 to thousands of dollars. Well, that's not possible in some developing countries. So saving time is a good thing. So I use, for example, starter packs. In the starter packs, you can check out the layouts that are already available there and you could modify these as you go. So let's wait for these to load. I should be visualizing them. All right, just clicked on there. All right. So I clicked on this section right here. Let me go back. Okay, here they are, the starter packs. So the starter packs, the reason they are there is not to use them as there are, as there is. So for example, it's not because I'm gonna use the fitness one, the fitness one. It's just because I like how the section looks. So I, I can preview it over here. All right, I like the look of it. I like how it moves. I like the sections. Now I can customize this to my liking. So it doesn't have to be fitness. I'm gonna do something like, for example, hot dogs. I don't know, I'm gonna sell hot dogs or the person that's gonna do, it's like a, a, what do you call it? A school, right? So I like the layout and I will use it. So in this case, you can preview it and you can import it. Now, if that's not the layout you like, just go back and check out other ones that are available. Now they're adding constantly. Right now there's 30. I think they just added two because I saw yesterday there were 28. So they're adding ones as they go along. So for example, if you like this ice cream one and we wanted to import it and let's actually import one, but in a new, layout so we don't get all this junk right here so let's go back to our site right here and let's add a brand new page and this page is testing two and we're going to import the layout starter pack we're going to choose this ice cream one and in this ice cream one you got like the home the products about us contact us and you can mix and match just if you like something that you didn't find in this starter pack that you liked on another one or inserting sections inside of them so in this case, I'm gonna choose the home page, right? So let's import this baby right here and find out. All right, so this is a section right here. And like I said, the reason you have this is to customize it. So if this were a school, you use that for there and like re oh, register now and just so on and so forth. Like I said, this is not meant to be used. This is, this is just for testing purposes. And again, we got the styles, we got the advanced sections for every single thing that we click. Now, let's just say you want something from this section. You have more options below right here. So you can group that information. You can use the width, the center, full width. You can hide the block settings, duplicate, insert before. Remember, we have the Gutenberg power inside of Kubely also. So we're combining both to take advantage of it. So let's go preview this site right here. Let's go to, well, let's actually publish it. Yes, publish. And let's go have a look at the site. So let's go view this page. And I think we should see a title, but we're gonna get rid of it right now. All right, so yeah, we're seeing the title right here. Check this out, you got the movements, you got everything going on. Like I said, this would be your images and everything that you're gonna use. You just get that fun starter pack that you get started really quickly. Okay, so you saw the title. In this case, we're gonna use Qly Full Width. All right, and let's update the site. Okay, that's updated, let's refresh it. Remember we saw that title on the top and now it's gone. Now we can get rid of all the other things. For example, if we use, for example, hold on, sidebar, customize settings, so no sidebar, box, you want display, customize settings. Let me find out, hold on. All right, so instead of full width, we're gonna select Kubely Canva. So in Kubely Canva, we're gonna update the site. We're gonna go preview it now. And there we go. We got a full width site with all the good looking parts inside. So now it's full width, it looks really nice. 
Now, what I'm trying to show you right here in this video is to show that it's really easy. I mean, you just install the plugin, you activate it, install Astra, remove the sidebars and the settings, and just go right ahead and build. I mean, drop in some sections, drop in a template that's already pre-built right here. Oops, over here in the import layout, and you're ready to go. So the reason for using Kubely is to save time and make Gutenberg more powerful than it already is. Now, the good thing about this, about using the Gutenberg technology is that Gutenberg is working really hard. They are taking this to the next level and having this alongside with it makes it even better. So that's one of the reasons I think Kubely is a good option for you guys if you wanna save time. So instead of loading in a full theme, for example, Elementor, Divi, the Viber Builder, just a whole bunch of those, they are so bloated, they have so many options that they make your site slow and they install plotware and all that stuff. So you avoid that with Kubely, making it lighter and faster without so much plotware inside of it. There you go, guys, that is Kubely. And if you guys are interested in grabbing Kubely, like I said, the link is in the description. The link, it's an affiliate link. Obviously, it helps me grab deals, make videos for you guys, and take time to make them for you and help you out to take that decision if it's better for you or not. It won't cost you a single set more to use that affiliate link. I thank you guys for watching. My name is George, and this is Sass Master. I'll see you guys later.